So I'm not entirely sure where I want to go with this video, but it's kind of like, what is your collection about or what brings happiness in your collecting style? Um, you know, something along those lines. And I'm going to start it off right now with this Batman a Visual History book where if you didn't know, I should be a big signature uh, collector. And I remember going, I forgot what con it was, but it was uh, a gentleman. I want to say he had this big Marvel poster with different covers on it. It was old school, probably Silver Age, Bronze Age uh, poster with their covers on it. And I remember him having different creators signed, you know, the respective cover or, you know, their story. And I thought that was a really cool idea. So rather than carry a poster, I decided because I'm a big Batman fan, um, I wanted to go with this book of visual history. And inside this book, it kind of has like, I guess you could say key moments in Batman's history, along with all types of creators, whether it's written or uh, artists. So, yeah, this is kind of a twofold book. Uh, I'm a big Batman fan, and I'm a big, well, not as much now, but I used to be a really, really big uh, signature. And some and some signatures in this book is pretty cool. Um, first and foremost, my first signature in this book was here, and I want to say that was Wizard World Austin, and um, that's Michael Golden. And he drew this little sketch, and when he gave it back to me, he said, you're going to thank me later. And sure enough, he kind of led the way with all these different sketches. Um, none of these sketches were paid for. It was just the kindness. And every time I see Michael Golden, I I, I really do thank him um, for leading that, that pathway. But, you know, some of the signatures in here, you know, Frank Miller, Jim Lee, uh, Art Germ, Tim Cell, Bob McLeod, Sam Keith, uh, Neil Adams, Sam De La Rosa, Ty Templeton. Just just a plethora of different signatures in here. Um, I want to say this was started in 2016. Either 2000, yeah, no, it was 2016. And I would scope out the con look at the artist list, and then uh, try to figure out what artists or writers were on a Batman title. So, any artist that was, or any come creator that was on a Batman-related title, or, you know, it had to say Batman on the title, then they get the, the seal of approval from me to go ahead and sign this book. Um, but yeah, you know, Jim Ballant, Prillo, uh, Mayhew, just Al Green, Sada, some cool, cool stuff. And like I said, it's just, just a visual history. I think this book came out like in 2015 or 14. And, um, yeah. But. I probably have maybe a couple more signatures before I go ahead and cancel it. And call it a good day on the on the signatures. Um, this is always going to be my favorite right here. Uh, Peter Weller, if you didn't know, he was the voice of the Dark Knight in the movie Dark Knight Returns. And then Kevin Conroy saw that, and then he wrote, "No, I am the real Batman." I just thought that was pretty slick. Um, but yeah, I mean. Where, where's Mads at? That was Joe Mad, right? So I remember going, I think it was Fan Expo. I went to uh, have him sign this book, and he looked at it. He's like, I didn't ever work on uh, a book. And then I showed him, uh, it was uh, uh, like a short title on a Batman. I mean, a short story in a Batman title. Real, 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 like. If you didn't know, you didn't know. And he was like, holy crap, I did. So, yeah, he signed it there.
um, Kevin Guro, the, the creator of Blue Marvel, he did a short story on a Christmas special or winter special. That's his interpretation of a Batman. But yeah, you know, uh, Capullo, he did this little Batman with uh, um, Calapian with his, uh, what's it called, quarter vowels. Forgot his name already, Talon. But yeah, cool stuff, I mean. Those were the days. So like I said, you know, big signature guy. And then, if you didn't know, this is just a representation. This book really is nothing. It's just a title. That, plus, I haven't shown it off in a while. But I'm a big Spawn guy. Uh, everything about him. I'm more of an anti-hero. That reluctant hero that comes in and saves the day. Uh, the end justifies the means. So, yeah, I've always related to him. But this is Spawn 200. This is a sketch covered by uh, David Finch. I actually have the colored version of this signed by uh, David Finch. But, yeah, Spawn is hes my go-to. Him, excuse me, Batman, Moon Knight, uh, Punisher. They're, they're, they're top three, top five. Um comic I guess characters that I can relate to the most but yeah spawn really big 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 this next book represents everything that I I try to do in collecting and it was a wonder um, because I kind of prided myself in being a a stealth finder um Going out to conventions, comic book stores, uh, discount bookstores, and uh, flea markets to find a deal. And in the height of Ahsoka Tano, I was at a flea market and I happened to find this thing for a dollar. So yeah, that was a uh, <coughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. So um, and it was. Uh, also funny that it took me years and when I say years to actually watch the Clone Wars um, it was pandemic you know nothing really going on and Drasir for years would tell me go watch it go watch it go watch it and I said no that's a kids show he's like trust me go watch it and I finally did it it uh, re I guess uh, reintroduced me into Star Wars and, uh, yeah, Clone Wars is, is that bridge that um, I crossed over and kind of went insane, if you know, if you ever seen my <clears throat> toys and stuff. But, yeah, represents two things, man, stealth and uh, uh, <laughs> actually listening to what people say because uh, he knows me pretty well and he probably had a good idea that I would enjoy it. But yeah, four dollar at the height, at the height. So this represents a lot of my collecting style and what I like. And then, other than uh, comics, this is a relatively new thing that I like getting into. Um, Pokemon cards. Uh, I was actually in Japan when they first dropped. I never picked it up. I should have, at least for my daughter, but never did. And then again, pandemic came around, and um, everybody was. It was a big Pokemon craze. I was like, you know what? I'll, you know, dip my little feet into that. So I did, and I kind of stuck to it. But I'm mostly a Mewtwo collector. I like Mewtwo, so that was an, a different aspect of what I collect. And then, like I said, I'm a big signature guy. And along with that, Clone Wars uh, uh, book that I found, I decided to do the Clone Wars version of what I do with the Batman. So I bought this collector's edition, I think at Books A Million, and decided to go in the route of getting stuff signed. 
I don't know if it comes up pretty good, but you have Matt Lantern, Obi-Wan, who, to my surprise, and I had no idea, he voiced Plo Koon, who's actually uh, probably, yeah, my, my, my second favorite character in the show is Plo Koon. And I had no idea until I was at his booth, and there was a picture of Plo Koon there, and I asked him, I was like, dude, did you do that voice? And then he went into his Plo Koon voice, and straight up, so that was pretty cool, that was, that was pretty rad. Then, of course, just, just the awesome Ashley X team, uh, Ahsoka Tano. And then over here, um, he didn't really work in this show at all, but he is a Disney-licensed uh, illustrator, and he does a lot of prints and commissions, but this is Donny Haas. And uh, he drew me a little uh, uh, Ahsoka on the side. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just thinking. Yeah, he probably does, hopefully. But yeah, this this is another. This was going to be a lot more expensive than that Batman book because of who I'm dealing with and the times that we're in. But yeah, oddly enough, every single clone here is voiced by one person. So I just need one signature for all these people. I don't need him to you know, specify, so yeah, that's pretty cool, and then I also do toys, I, I, I sign toys, mainly for Star Wars, but yeah, that's kind of like my collecting style, you know, I like going sig hunting, I like finding stealth finds, and um, looking for some U2s, anyways, I don't know what the purpose of this video is, I mean, if you got something to show that's uh, kind of, um, I don't know, shows off your, your collection or the style that you collect or what things you collect. Go for it. If not, I hope you enjoy, and I am out.